Porgy fell into a trap full of spikes, he was about to die, but he has a 100% evasion skill, he dodged the spikes and landed perfectly, but it's too deep, Porgy's cries for help went unanswered, he thought of his best friend, Kirk, if only he were here, suddenly, he saw a cave next to him, he followed the light into it, he saw a huge savage with a crown on his head sharpening a stick, he saw that he was mad and fierce, Porgy was so frightened, he caught out and apologized, he explained how he had fallen in, the savage really understood what Porgy meant, suddenly, there was a commotion outside, a huge boar has fallen into the Trap. The savage went up and slashed it. The boar became a roasted suckling pig. The savage told Porgy to look to the sky. He saw the souls of his prey being sucked up by a huge black cloud. And then from the other side, they spit out more new animals into the jungle. And so on and so on. The wild man knew about sustainability. He suddenly started dancing. And he made Porgy imitate him. To thank nature for its gifts. It's a dance of reconciliation. It's a dance of apology to the souls of the dead. And thanking them for being food for mankind to live on. After the dance, the savages began to eat. Porgy couldn't help but eat. Too. Suddenly, the savage stared at Boogie. Porgy was terrified. The wildling's face changed in an instant. His eyes were fierce and he had a sword in his hand. Porgy grabbed his backpack and ran. The wildling didn't come after him. Porgy followed the firelight from the forest. Finally, he found the master and his guards. But the master's expression was a bit lost. They saw the figures on the mountaintop. But Porgy pulled them away in a hurry. After a few days of trekking, they came to the wilderness. Domus handed Boogie the roasted meat. He was just about to eat it. Suddenly, two flying daggers shot out and knocked the meat to the ground. Is there an assassin? in the neighborhood, but there was no one to be found. Porgy's roast was also taken by the foxes. At night, the two of them went to bed, but Domus went into the desert alone. He called out to the depths, because he knew the assassin must be nearby. The next day, they found that all the foxes that had eaten the roast had been poisoned. They thought it was the poison and the flying daggers. They buried the foxes and went on their way. A few days later, they came to the Hell Gate, which leads to the underworld. Here, monsters crawled out of the holes, and the reason for the city's prosperity. It's all because of the Knights of Hades. Domus told his guards to find an inn to stay in. He took Porgy to the Hellmouth to see the sights. Hellfire erupts here every few minutes, but when Porgy went up to see it, Domus pushed him into the abyss. At the same time, the queen's cup of tea fell to the ground. A sense of foreboding came over her. This seemingly amiable Domus laughed with his back to the fires of hell.